What's going on? It's a beautiful day, man. Daytime radio is absolute pants. What's going on? So today I'm off to do my drone course. Revisions done, got all my documents that I need. I'm a little bit nervous though, to be honest, because some of the modules are really hard. So I'm gonna try my best to vlog some of the actual course. What's going on here? So it looks like on the first one here. Gonna indulge. Move. Blue? Yeah. Blue. And what does it say in the box? D. D. So that airspace is class D. Okay? Just to, underneath the B in Brentwood. Mm -hmm. There's another there's another line which is depicting airspace there. What colour is that? Brown. Brown, red, yeah. Dark, Blue. dark red. And that says LCMA. What so that mean it says what in the box? E. A. Yeah. Happy with that? So that's class A. My colleagues was doing some promotional filming for um, an office gym company. So they, they, they put some pressure wood on the they you have to be balancing them, mm. then it's worth keeping lots of things. But also, down is an airfield, mm. you can do a new route, and if you say taking off from Lindam, um, but say landing at Lindam as well, and you'll see. Yeah, kind of fine. If right. you're very close to a very congested area, you'd be more concerned about it, I think. Okay, cool. Um, otherwise, that's all really good. Lovely, thank you. And then we'll do a quick theory review next. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. So, so, get some questions ready. So, let me go through the theory review. Is that the same review? You just mean like. Stuff that we've covered in the last couple of days. Okay, days. stuff around the shore. Yes. Cool, right. Buzz will be past that. <laughs> Not this. Yes, yes, yes. Just passed the theory exams. You got two theory exams and I, to be honest with you, I was a bit worried I weren't going to get them because the amount of work was just ridiculous. Jeez, right, so you got your quick reference handbook. Course study manual, this thing's got all the uh, modules in. Oh my, there's like 120 pages in there. Done that, finished that. There's the exam questions which I passed. My own notes and a flight planning form and a couple of other notes. So I'd done my exam with a company called UAV Air. I can't recommend them enough, they were absolutely sick. We had two pilots teach us. The first one, his name was Chris, he's a, uh, he's a pilot for Virgin. So he does like commercial flights, probably taking you to New York or wherever you've been. Yeah, he knows everything about aviation, which was pretty good. And our second guy, his name was Michael. He was incredible. He is a professional drone pilot. So he flies a Inspire One Pro, which I'm a little bit jealous of, but that's cool. Um, yeah, to be honest, I really thought that some of the stuff at first was a bit ridiculous, like 
the amount of stuff you need to learn like navigation and charting, airspace, human factors, all that kind of stuff. But after actually learning it in class, I think, yeah, yeah, you should know this. Like, you should know when you need to call an air traffic zone or air traffic control. You need the right numbers to call the right airports and stuff like that if you get a flyaway. So, yeah, I've got my... <laughs> I've got my uh, my flight assessment tomorrow, and I am sh what's going on myself. So, and I'm dead nervous. Like, it, it's just because you got to do it all in manual mode. If it's in GPS mode, it's well easy because it just stays there. But if you're doing it in ATI mode, which is the manual mode, it could fly. It could fly anywhere. Through, and the wind is meant to be 16 miles an hour tomorrow, and that's just like pff, more heavier than I've ever flown in. But I'm gonna take it out now, and I'm gonna have a little test again. I'm gonna do my best to. Get everything locked down, so. Just making my own checklists. Put it off for today. Yo, what is going on? So. The time has come, I'm about to go and leave for my flight assessment. To be fair, I am dead nervous, like I'm crapping myself, but look at this beautiful mess that's taken up the last few days. All of this I've got to take. Got my insurance, planning forms, observers, emergency procedures, leaflets. Um, oh God, yeah, there's so much. Um, but yeah, no, I've, I've done all my pre-planning, all my pre-flight plans risk assessments, emergency procedures, just printed off my last few bits, get in, map of the location, temperatures, stuff like that, wind strengths. So yeah, battery's all charged, drone is all set and ready to rock and roll. Just gotta turn up and do my best basically, so yeah. What I will do is I'll have a debrief at the end. If I pass, obviously I'll be buzzing. If I don't pass, I'll probably be quite sad. But I'll still do a debrief on like what I've done wrong and what you have to do in the assessment. So, see you in about two hours, three hours time, later on. Oh, it is a bit windy. Jesus Christ. So, uh, I just met the guy, his name's Philip. He's pretty cool. Let's see how it goes. But it is windy and oh, I am nervous, man. No, but I did get, I did have the gloves. Yeah, the notice? gloves as well. Yeah. And I was thinking vlogger, no. yeah, might be sponsored. No, 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 oh no, definitely. I'm not nowhere near as uh, kind of accessible as that or big. So, okay. hey guys, how's it going? So, just completed my course and I'm really happy to tell you that I passed. I'm absolutely ecstatic. Really, really happy. This is Philip. Um, Hi guys. Philip was my uh, assessor for the day. Um, it was really windy. I was quite worried about how it was going to go, but um, I'll tell you what, UAV Air, if you're going to do a course, honestly, go and check them guys out. Brilliant. You got any? Uh, tips on how I done today as I as I said to you on the, on the feedback I think um, your interest and uh, keenness on your subject of flying drones is uh, really shines through perhaps makes up for um, the lack of experience you have now but as I said what we're looking for is a minimum safety so that as you go into the drone world you'll only get better use the the information that you've learned that we've taught you that we've now tested you to um, to then go out and hopefully be as best a pilot as you can be and, and hopefully you know uh, appreciate the support and the development with, that we've instilled in you. Thank you. Thanks ever so much Philip. Uh, just check out the coats that we've got as well. Uh, you, when, you, when you become a qualified pilot you, you, it's mandatory that you wear a blue puffer coat. So um, Down coats are incredibly important when it comes to standing outside all day long. Yeah. Absolutely, you need to stay warm. Definitely, right. So hope to see you in the industry flying at some point Philip. Cheers mate. Thank you ever so much. All the best. Thank you. Ha!
<laughs> so yeah, I've passed. I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, I'm gonna take you through the flight assessment really quick. So here goes. So once you've done all of your uh, pre-flight checks and all that, this will be the, this is, fuck. So before you start your flight assessment, you have to do all your pre-flight checks, go through all your insurance stuff like that, make sure you've done your risk assessment, and then this is what happens. So here, this is me, didn't it? Here was the take off and landing point. Point number one, over here, one, over here, point three, and over here was point number two. So what you had to do was, you had to take off from here, obviously, from your takeoff point. You had to hover 20 seconds in your manual mode. Big fat wind coming in from here. So after you've done that, you then have to fly your aircraft out to point number one. You have to hover at point number one. Then you come over to point number two, which is 20 meters away from here. I forgot to say this is 50 meters, yeah? 20 meters over here to point number two. You have to hover 20 meters, 10 seconds, and then you have to hover 40 meters for 10 seconds. And this has to be your perception of these numbers. After you've done that, you have to come back down to number one, and then you have to do a full circle around number one at 20 meters distance. So when you do the full circle around point number one, it has to be 20 meters height and 20 meters width. So basically, you gotta go all the way around this number one here at a 20 meter diameter around it at 20 feet up in the sky. And your aircraft, its orientation has to be pointing the same way the whole time you're going around. So you go all the way around. I messed up on my first go, so you get a second try. Tries or is it? I-E or Y, not sure. Anyway, you get two goes. And then after you've done that, you have to fly over to number three. You have to hover at 50 meters in the air. That's pretty much, well, the distance between here is 50 meters. So basically you've got, it's like your perception. You've got to be able to control the aircraft when it's that far away from you basically at 50 meters in the sky. Once that's happened, you then have to descend all the way down to your takeoff and landing point at a steady descent and distance at the same time. So this is height and this is distance. You can't kind of come down and then go across and come down and then come across, down, cross and then land. You literally have to come down like that, land safely. That is the flight assessment. Passed. So yeah, that is the flight assessment. That is how it went down. So if you this video you can subscribe